This is where we had gym. This is where we used to come outside and play baseball. As you can see, that's home plate, first, second, and third. Favorite place that I used to like to play was right over there between third base and shortstop, one or the other. And I had a good buddy of mine. He used to play right up on that hill. We used to have a lot of good times out here. And then walking out this way and going down the side of the school, looking at classrooms up above, one of these, I believe, Mr. Ziamba had his civics class, and it's either back there or that room there, one of the two middle ones. That was Mrs. Todd's English class. But this is the one side of the school building. Here, they're trying to tell me something. They're giving me advance warning. They're probably going to come back and haunt me. Cornerstones, 1929, but that was before my time. Here we go. One last shot of the front of the used to be Sayreville High. that they now call the Wilson School. How about that? Here's the apartment house that Mom lives in up in Frenchtown. Here comes Mary walking out the front. Here comes Alice. And then even in here comes my mom. There she is. But this is what it looks like from the front. This is in Frenchtown. I guess she lives here with Jason. Apartment number nine. It's not that one, that's the forward one. She lives in the one behind that. I'll show the outside door later. Apparently Kim lived in a lower apartment over here. The way I understand, she lived in two or three different places. And then she lived up there, the second floor. I guess the bottom floor, and I guess that one too. Yeah, and then she lived in the fourth. Kim used to work here, how convenient. You could even walk across the street probably when you were asleep. Out in front of the apartment complex where my mom is living. New Jersey creeks or brooks or whatever you want to call it. Every place you see a bridge here, you got water running underneath it. Kind of like a river runs through it. But this is up in Frenchtown. And more water. Water everywhere. Kind of like, a, not really what you call a fancy bridge. But that's what she is. In this area, almost all the roads on this side and in uh, Pennsylvania, we're going to go up on the bridge where it crosses from New Jersey to Pennsylvania. You usually have a creek or a stream that runs beside the road. Maybe we can call them all river roads. Very admiring some of the houses up here in Frenchtown. And we're right near the Delaware River. That is the border between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Swing around this way. There's my mom. walking. We're walking down towards the bridge now. And we're actually going to attempt to walk all the way from New Jersey to Pennsylvania. And here is the mighty Delaware. How about that? And they're building something here. Maybe they're building an ark. These are the things that you don't see in California. Not so much the scenery, but the, the bridges and the rivers and the trees. Could this be relatives of Washington crossing the Delaware? Heck, they don't know where Trenton is. Ahoy there, ahoy! The trees. This is the New Jersey side, and we go this way across the bridge. And on the other side is Pennsylvania. That's the bridge we're going to walk across. I'd like to get a clearer shot, but there's nothing but trees in the way, and I'm not going to walk in the way of the bridge. Here's where it starts in Frenchtown, New Jersey. And you travel that way, across, and over there where that house is, that's Pennsylvania. And here we have more people pretending to be George Washington. They're looking to sink the Bismarck. This is NMS Sporting Goods, Live Bait, and Firearms. Okay, we look at it. The only reason we're taking a picture of it, I guess it's in part of a restoration phase, but it looks pretty neat. Kind of looks like an old riverboat. Famous French Town Inn, 
that years and years ago used to be called the Lower Hotel. Zero went on the sign on the side just to show you that it's true. How about that? This is a bit. How about that, sports fans? On the corner that says Frenchtown, Eulerstown Bridge, and sign that says it, in fact, is the Delaware River. Frenchtown being the New Jersey side, Eulerstown being the Pennsylvania side. Kind of walk up around here. This is the beginning. We don't have the bike to walk, so I hope we're legal. Slippery when wet. I hope it doesn't rain. We start our trek from New Jersey to Pennsylvania, and we're going to go way to the other side. Hello, Pennsylvania. Clearance on the side, it says 12 foot 6 inches. Here is a shot of the mighty Delaware River, the borderline between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. There's Alice, Mary, and Mom on their way. Slow, because the speed limit's only 15 miles an hour here. We don't want to get a ticket. It's a heavy-duty fisherman down here. Reeling in something. What's he got? Oh, that's the anchor. Wonder if he's in the Navy. A guy like that with an anchor, you'd have to call him an anchor clanker. Here we have somebody coming from the Pennsylvania side. Escaped from Pennsylvania. Is he going to make it? Here we are. Right here. We're in the middle of the bridge. Yeah, I figure about right here. We figure this is about the center point. See what that what, Looking that, that way was. towards New Jersey. There's a little guard shack. There's actually somebody in there watching us. Hope we don't break any rules. And then we walking. swing around towards the Pennsylvania side. And there's Pennsylvania. Now we have to decide, do we want to go? Do we want to go back? Or are we going to just sit here in limbo? I'm in Pennsylvania already. I won the race. And here comes Mary, followed by my mom. And there's Alice hiding in the back. Well, they make it. That's a long walk all the way from New Jersey to Pennsylvania. And on this side, the sign reads a little bit different. It says Euler'stown Yulers, Frenchtown Bridge. Same thing, Delaware River. Trying to make the lights set it up just right. But apparently, this must be Euler'stown. This is Pennsylvania. Already the people are friendlier. He told me, stop that. If you're interested, don't bring your horse. I guess this is what the road or highway, whatever you want to call it, south on 32. Yes, 32. Early days, this was this was probably used a lot. Looks like an old farm wagon. Neat. I think I'll make an offer on it. Bring it home. We can use that for our Christmas parades. Let me take this for you and Mary. Nana is pointing out that most of Pennsylvania roads are red. Oh, we got an old jalopy thing here over here. Yeah. Okay, there's Butch and Mary crossing the road here. We're in Pennsylvania now. This is Euler'stown. Euler'stown, Pennsylvania, across the Delaware River. And they're just going over here to take a picture over here by this old jalopy. And maybe over by the flowers here. They go over by them. Old fashioned truck here. And there's. Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm going to try to focus you in a little better. This is not very good for some reason. Okay. Here we are in Pennsylvania. Here comes her. For you, here's an old Model T. And whether it used to be a hearse, a milk wagon, I have no idea. Somebody's 
redone some of the wood on the back, so they tried to make it, maybe make it into something that it wasn't, and maybe this was the way it was. Let me go on the other side and see if I can get a picture of the engine. There's no uh, decal as far as, you know, whether it's Ford or Chevy or whatever, but apparently, I think it's a Ford. Looks like a Model T. Got a brick holding down the hood there. Kind of what the engine looks like, if you can see. There you go. There she shows up. Alice said she just found something that says it's a Ford. And the it's reason that I think about Model T is, I remember Forrest had his 22 touring car, and not only are there brakes, that's a handbrake there, but the pedals, that's how you shifted it. That, that was your gears. Kind of like what the dash looks like. That kind of looks like it's aftermarket to me. Running boards that says Ford. Those days is probably the famous Gruber wagon. You can, if you can make it out, that's the name on the side. There we go. G R U B E R wagon. I guess they had the market wagon because they might mistake it for a horse or a cow. But the wagon from the front part of whatever it's kind of neat. I wish I had it. And here's the flowers. Look at the pretty colors. Here we go. We broke the law. They're coming to get us. Yeah, they're over here. I've got them in custody. Yeah, yeah, here he is. Pretty broken up, though. That we were here just for rest. They're going to paint the line for us. I think they're showing us the way out. Ending our journey all the way from Pennsylvania back to New Jersey. When we go down there, we'll check out what the, I guess that's customs. we got to show our passports and proof of citizenship and so on. This side of the mighty, mighty Delaware. And there's George Washington, and he's lost. And there we are, making it back from Pennsylvania. God, we're tired. We just walked in two different states. Hi, right, this is the sign that we have. Welcome to New Jersey, the Garden State. List your speed limits. Seat belts must be worn. On the other side, going into Pennsylvania, there is no sign. Maybe we weren't welcome. Sign, this says East on 12. And now near in Croton, where we have the junkyard, and where Gracie and Gracie Nart live, and where I used to live, and that's on Route 12, too. As you can see, and on the side, it said Miller's. This could be one of two things. Maybe this is where they first started making Miller Lite or Miller Beer, or maybe this is the beginning of Miller's Outpost, because you can see it was a five and 10 cent store. That's what we used to know them as when we were kids, Miller's five and 10 cent stores. How about that? On the canal road, besides the Delaware River, mom's heading to a house where her and Ronnie used to live, on the house where mom and Ron used to live. We're gonna sit up and walk down a ways and walk up somewhere and see it a little closer. Rear of the house, from the alleyway, Mom was saying they painted it white and they've added the shutters to it. Looks pretty nice from here. Then again, this is in Frenchtown, the house. And down on the corner down there as Alice and Mom and Mary walk up, the corner of that street is named Railroad and Fort Street. And reason it was Railroad Avenue, because at one time a railroad ran along there. Isn't that unique? One of its name was Farfall, and there's a cow. Holy cow. Mom and Mary walking down Harrison Street towards the Frenchtown Business Center. And that's where we're on our way to. Building that publishes one of the newspapers that we read out here. Delaware Valley News, established in 1879. An old sign, the Eichland GMC Truck Company. And over here, that probably goes back to my days, trying to make it out here. Hay Street, that was soda pop. The downtown Frenchtown Business di District. In this little panorama here, this has no special meanings to me. Although from time to time, I guess I pass through here. But when Mom and Ronnie get their coffee or whatever and look at it, it'll bring back memories to them. Since we've been here so far, the only place I've been in was over there. We stopped in a liquor store and bought some beer. 
picture, this has got to be Washington crossing the Delaware. Oh, look at yeah, that's right. Don't Don't see see the oh, not yesterday we went down to Clifford Beach looking for the famous cat in the fiddle that used to be a saloon, restaurant, and game area, whatever, right down on Clifford Beach. And here we are in Frenchtown, and somebody has a store named the Cat in the Fiddle. This uh, Lunda's here used to be called Homestead. It was a restaurant? Delicatessen. Delicatessen. And Nana used to work in here. And then it changed. Since she took over, it changed. And actually now it's not, they don't advertise it as a deli. Now it's not a deli anymore. Okay, so what is it now? You buy in there and buy sandwich or what? It's, uh, uh, that's what we're going to do. In, Flim in um, uh, Frenchtown, Prince Frenchtown, New Jersey. Let's see what focus in here. National, established 1861, I think is what it says. Part of Frenchtown. There's Nana, right there. Melon Yard there. Of the Union Hotel. Believe it or not. This is all on the back of the Union Hotel. All of it. Clear over to there. More, another view of the back of the Union Hotel. Here, starting from right here, all, all the way over. Starts, it ends on this section right here. And it goes all the way over to this part. There's Mary. We're walking back from Frenchtown. She looks like she's tired out. Look, she's hiding her face. What do you got in there, Mary? What do you got in that bag? Macy's daughter, Kathy, lives with her boyfriend, Paul. This is the whole house in itself. And where we went in, you go around back. And on the left side, on the bottom floor, is where her apartment is. And we'll film a little bit of that because it really looks neat. And here is her Miata. I think she wants to sell this for $200 cash. I'm thinking about it, but I, I don't know if it's worth it. And we'll swing around here. Here's her mailbox. And something I just noticed today. When we were kids and we lived down in Cliffwood Beach, we lived at 19 Pacific Boulevard. And here's a number 19 on her mailbox. This house number is 19. And here's the mailbox. I don't know what street this is. I think it's so new they haven't named it yet. That's a couple more houses there, whatever. Then we're going to go around back. Real neat in the back. And as you can see from here, the view from some of her windows out back, is it's, it's awesome. No cement cities. This is country living. This is the way it's going to be. And there's Gracie's expensive. Chevy Nova, a classic. It's probably worth $10,000, except for the dent on the left rear door. Here we're walking up on the old stainless steel milk cans. I remember when we had the junkyard, we used to have some of these, but they're long gone. Matter of fact, I'll prove to you it's stainless steel. It doesn't look like it there, but I'll show you in just a second. You can see inside here that it is stainless steel. And I had to read this from the inside, because reading it from the outside, you can't make it out. But what it says in there is Raritan Valley Farms, Somerville, New Jersey. Side, if you cleaned it up a little bit, you could probably read it. But with the rust and a little bit of wear over the years, it makes it just a skosh tough. On top of the lid, the letters up there or O-D-O-M-D-S, whatever that means. So everything I told you it might not be true because as you can see, 
That says B-U-H-L, pronounced bull. Storage shed that sets off to the side of the house. And as you look around, you can see the trees and the hillside. And down that way, there's another house. Gorgeous trees and bushes and doodads and whatnots. And then we'll walk down here towards the back. Now, I know I'm shaking the film, but I'm trying to walk gingerly. And here's a, some of the view that they see from the back of the house. Really neat. Come down here a little ways, and as I go to my left, here's a house that sets up on the back of the hill. We had a couple of bucks, maybe we can own that too, huh? And then as you come down into the backyard, and this is kind of neat. I'll bounce the camera along as I walk down this way. I'm tripping over everything because I'm not watching where I'm walking. Okay, they got a little creek that runs down here with a neat little bridge going across. Probably a good place to hang out with your girlfriend or boyfriend, depending on who you are. And it's got a little stream of water going underneath it. And I'm sure when the rains and everything here, I bet this was flooded up pretty good. But that's how you get. Looking back up to the house, that's the part where Kathy lives with her boyfriend, Paul. But you'd either come around this way and come down across the bridge, and then you go up into the field. And probably Kathy and her boyfriend go up there and they plant corn and cotton, potatoes, and all them New Jersey goodies. And then up here, why Jersey got the name the Garden State, we don't have uh, actually a garden, but we've got some flowers and plants. And there's, oh, there's my pumpkin coming down. I want to get her filmed on a bridge. Hi, Mary. Hi. She loves it. Well, go, go down on the bridge, babe. Okay. It's my pie up on the bridge, and what she's going to do is we're going to put about 50 bucks worth of change in the stream so that next time we come down to visit, if we need any money, we're going to jump in there and get it back. Go ahead, Mary. Go for it. Make a wish. Here she goes. This is live from Kathy and Paul's house. Go for it, hon. Mary, I'm going to sit here and run my battery down. I'm making my wish. Mary, I haven't got all day. Hey. We're leaving Saturday. This is only Thursday. Okay. She gets that from her mom. Yeah, I'm trying to make my wish and keep talking. Come on, hon. I'm filming this. Okay. I want to get a good action shot here. I'll make a wish for you. I wish you'd throw it in the water now. Make my wish come true. Mary, I'll give you two seconds and that's it. There she goes. One more. Ten wishes. Make them quick. Good looking trees. They've been here for a long time. And watch out, squirrels are on them. This is definitely not a cement city. Here we are in Kathy's house, and that's Alice kicking back and enjoying it. And there's Kathy. Pretty, pretty, pretty girl. And God was lucky with her, gave her ears so she could wear earrings. And there's Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Where's my pump? Oh, there's Gracie. She's hiding, but we got her anyway. Where's my pumpkin? Over here. Where? There she is. There's Mary Alice. You look over there, a nice fireplace. Armitel. Remember what they tell me? This house is built out of Armitel. You can cook in it, and you can bake in it, and you can't break it. It's, hey, that's a great idea. We're, we're going to start that in California. Armitel houses. They'll never be damaged in an earthquake. Alice wants to be to film this because this is a neat table with a bean lamp. It's an antique table. And just think out there, all the ones we got from Mexico and Southern California, we've got a lot of beans out there, too. That's pretty, though. And this is where they have their breakfast and eat their lunch and their supper. You know, this is, you, you look at the kitchen cabinets, you know, everything's done up like old time. I mean, it's really gorgeous. And over there somewhere, she's got a microwave that you have to use wood to make it cook. 
And Mike and Chris realize that's exactly the same one that we have. That's one part of modernization. The other one that everybody needs to have is a Japanese television. Let me focus on a name here if I can get it. Toshiba. Toshiba. From the people that brought us Pearl Harbor. Nice bedroom, nice furniture. It's gorgeous. She's neat and clean. It looks great. I wish we kept house like this. This is her kitchen. And there's her stove. That's a brand new stove. It's never been used because they go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, Taco Bell. They don't, she don't never cook. Refrigerator's empty. Actually, the refrigerator's made out of cardboard. Nice table in here. This is so neat and clean, I'd be afraid to come in here and do anything because I'd mess it up. Too pretty to use. And there's one of her cats, and we'll call that one Black Cat. This is Terry. Who? Terry. 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 T. Terry. Terry. Okay. T E R R Y. Hey, pretty kitty. Meow. Meow. Such a pretty cat. Yeah. yeah. Pretty pretty kitty. Okay. 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 Here's another That's kitty. That's between. We're Big go Ben. Home first for Big a while. Ben, and we'll call him Orange Kitty. Orange kitty. So we have Orange Kitty Orange and Black Kitty. Get a little more light on this thing if I can. Kitty, kitty. Here we go. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't pinch the kitty. But Girl Scout cookies. Oh. <laughs> now we really know Kathy's okay. <laughs> Earthquake cookies from California. Rod and Maple. And this is where Kim lives. And here comes Garth Brooks out of the house. We're gonna go inside and see what we can see. House. You've got to go up these stairs and around the corner. There's no elevators. I don't know if I can make it. This thing is changing focusing all by itself. I go up another set of stairs. I had to stop here for 15 minutes and rest. She's trying to kill all the old people. She is the star of the moment. <laughs> and after we get through with her, she'll say, Thank God and Amtrak, you're gone. There's a spooky woman. Hi. Where's Pi? Pie. Wearing her brand new Met shirt. There's, there's my pumpkin. Look at that. Turn around. Let me zoom in. No, turn around. Lemington, New Jersey. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's get a picture of Guy. Hello, pretty kitty. Is that the same one as with Sassafras? He looks like Sassafras. Yeah, Tim's. Oh, brother. what a pretty kitty cat. He's, he's the gray cat's brother. Oh, the gray cat. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. What a sugar kitty. Yeah. Wow. Sugar, right? You look looking here. It looks totally and completely different. Isn't this is neat. I like it. There's an old time sink. That's how they used to be way back then. I mean, they've made changes in here, but it's still basically the way that it used to be. Got another kitty kitty. Hello, baby. Hello, kitty cat. Morale. Morale. He says, you're not filming me, buddy. From all the scriptures, this might be Augie's workshop. But this is the bedroom. Yeah, a little bit of the carpet or whatever. There's Kim's feet. There's Ashley and Mary on the bed. What are they doing? What are they doing? Pool game. Okay, videoitis. Okay. He's calling the cops on us. He wants us out of here. <laughs> hey, no, boys, he's got the camera on me now. <laughs> All right, I got the number now. I'll give you that. All right, Dad. So this must long. be an office of sorts. Oh, we even got an organ in here. How about that? What do you think, that's a keyboard. That's a keyboard, isn't it? Yeah, see, I can take that and pump okay. it this bad boy. Look at that. Is that in the image of, of Kim? What's that? No. I was looking at the animal back there. Oh, I won that over there at a little festival. That drawing was by Kathleen. Whoop. Kathleen was such an artist. Really nice. What you're listening to is what I find. Room? 
I can't see the colors. I hope no, you can. Pretty neat. The old uh, water heaters, what they call radiant or radiator heaters or whatever. Presser, look at the mirror. Look at the lamp. Isn't that gorgeous? Does Ken like kitties or what? Yeah. Pretty pictures. Not these up here. They were from Avon. Soon? We came We're going to go there and get some close-ups on some of these pictures there. And, uh, but that one in the middle, I wish it was mine. that is art. It's a rental. Ken's dad when he was in the Marines. He was almost as good looking as I was. Who's these guys? We are at Kelly's house. And here's the front part. Nice lot, nice house. And here we got the snowmobiles. You see they got them out front on the trailer, ready to go. They were expecting snow tonight. And we will survive. Because I'm sure them, snow them snowmobiles will make it to the liquor store. At least I hope they do. All the vehicles, that's Kim's and Kelly's. Toyota's in the garage, I believe. And... Is that the car that Kathleen came up in? Anybody recognize that license plate? If not, let's get them for illegal parking. It's mine. Later on, I want to go down the road. We got, we got some old choo-choos down there. I'm not going to go now because this battery is not fully charged and I'm afraid that the battery won't last. Some of the houses in the neighborhood. Looks good. Nice trees. View. Here comes Augie. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to steal the hubcaps off the Thunderbird. Look at him. He's breaking and entering. Here comes Art. Art's coming out to whoop on him. Yeah, some of the rest of the neighborhood, and there's Art's pickup, 78 Chevy, nice truck. We have a New Jersey licensed birdhouse. How about that? Upside I down. I, I wonder if this is registered with DMV. <laughs> it's upside down. Film inside the living room in Kelly's house and listen to the awesome music. Can't beat it. Here's Alice. She just can't wait to dance. And I'm going to get her too. Right? Because I'm wearing, tonight I'm wearing my poop kickers. I can't use the other one because nobody would like it. There's Kathleen who has ears for earrings. And there's Paul. <laughs> Pretty soon, we're going to be sitting at the table. I see six plates. We have 14 people. It's going to be one hell of a fight. This is Ashley's room. Look at that bed. Isn't that neat? Oh, there's Mary. Look at that. Are you saying your prayers? Are getting ready to go to bed? But in Kansas City, this strip of wallpaper that goes around the top of the ceiling or whatever, apparently these are becoming very, very popular. Nice room. Very, very neat. Rock and chair, who's that? Mr. Here. Potato Head or whatever? I think that's I think that's Kelly's old boyfriend. Kind of sneaking around. And this is the bedroom. A couple of windows there. Look at that. Got their own private little TV. Maybe that one was made in the USA. There's a time, 747. Oh, a nice little table and lamp. Yeah. I'm going to grab a tissue and I'm going to blow my nose. And there's Kim drinking her Long Island iced tea. There's seven different kinds of booze in there. Pretty soon she's going to start to float. Uh oh, there's Kelly. She's looking serious now. There she is putting the tacos in, in the oven. All right, Ed. Actually, that's a big microwave. 
Look at the smile on her face. Oh, she is so happy. Ashley, I need the house. And Ashley tells me this is Ed's house. Yeah, Ashley pays rent. We make her pay the rent. At least we get drips on there, right? To a fall. Where in the world is Kathleen? Wait a minute. Let's go up slowly. Ha ha ha. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There she is. Oh. Now think of all the different ways you can look at her. Uh, whatever. Do you really want to stay with her? Look at that. And in the back with the chairs, it looks like rabbit ears. Uh oh. Look, she had a baby. <laughs> and she told me, no kids. Look at that. Now they got twins. Ash. Hello, Ashley. Ashley, Ashley! Where's Nana Banana? Um, I don't know where Mary is. <laughs> She's hiding on you. She's playing games. This is 99. Uh oh. Ow, ow, ow! And where is Max? No dancing for Butch and Gracie. Kringle don't like it and neither does Ashley. There's Ashley and Gray. Oh, Kringle, you want to dance? Oh, look at them two. Oh, wow. Wee. We just had a great dinner at Kelly's house. Had all this good food. I Ed cooked cook. Ed all this good food. We had meat coming out of our ears. And salad. Baked potato with sour cream. And Kathy, I think, brought dessert. I don't know what that is yet. Yeah. I went to the bakery. <laughs> all right. Mom, I'll oh, bring hi, this, Ed. I'll bring the salad over. And there's, uh, is that? 12. 12. Well, that's Maxwell no, Smart. The 12, I think. And there's 
your clothes. It depends on how much you just chemicals you've been wearing. Yeah, yeah, that's what the excuse is. Tonight and do building. Hi, Eddie. Build night. <laughs> Thursday night's building. Well, yeah. Thursday. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Look at the list on the calendar this week. the sea? Where's under the sea? Mary. Under the sea? Under the sea? Where are you? Mary. <laughs> I'm dancing with the dog. Circle. I should have got it as we were driving around, but I didn't. But the basic circle looks like it's still intact. The one thing that's been added is the overpass here, shades of California freeways. I was talking to somebody on the train and they were telling me that they did away with the circle, but they didn't. It's still here. Coming down from 202, then you go south on 206 or whatever. But this is Somerville. Go stations. Sun Oil Company. Here we are coming in the driveway to Raritan Valley. What college? Community. Community College. This is where Kathleen got her fancy title. She doesn't realize that years ago I used to have a PhD called Piled Higher and Deeper. <laughs> We were full of it then. Are we going to go inside? Yeah, hon, we're just going to drive here around. Here, Gracie's doing about 60 coming down here. No, I'm not. She just squished about three pedestrians. You remember this, Kathleen? A lot of us don't come out. Oh, we're getting all the vans and all the cars here. Oh, there, there was Kathleen's classroom. <laughs> oh, there at that. Satellite dish. She used to go skinny dipping. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> here we are, Rolling Hills Girl Scout Council. I'm going to go in here and see if I can get more cookies. There we go. A great American tradition Girl Scout cookies. Now inside. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna go buy a very, very, very quiet. I'm hunting the rascally rabbit. Where can he be? Medical Center again, and I told you before that my mom and dad worked there, that I was in there to get stitches in my chin. Well, Mary got sick while we were on vacation, and we had to take her out there too. So she's added. The circle coming in from Somerville going to Croton, and I just threatened Gracie that I was going to give her bodily harm if she didn't go around it at least one time. But this is how it feels to go around the circles. And remember, there's three of these. I'm going to leave this on even if the battery goes dead. This is what it looks like when you're trying to pull out. Nobody wants to let you in. So Gracie just cut somebody off. I did not. <laughs> and here we go. Look at that. She's going to hit this guy. She's doing about 60 now. Block him up. And here we go. Look at this. Toyota. Modern technology. Where is he from? New Jersey. No, what's that say? Garbage state? No, Garden State. John, we're in New Jersey. What time is it? Four o'clock traffic or something? No, actually, it's about three, about, about two, two forty, three o'clock traffic. Now, I'm still filming, and Gracie ain't moving. She's made everybody mad. They're not going to let her by now. Tell, tell the camera this is the first time Gracie has stopped on the circle. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that this is the first time Gracie stopped on a circle. All right, we're going to rest now because it's going to take about two hours. Before. Oh, no, we're budging. All right, inch by inch, step by step. Once the light changes. Here we go, here we go. I see somebody up front moving. And here we go again. Who's Gracie going to cut off or tick off this time? Uh-oh, there's red lights behind us. I can hear the sirens. We're in deep doo-doo now. Come on, Grace, go around him. Cut him off. Here now, go, 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 go. There she goes, there she goes. We're gonna beat the Toyota. She just told me if I don't shut my mouth, she told me where she's gonna put this camera. But she's nice to me, Gracie loves me. Here we go, and we have completed a revolution around the circle. Look at that, look at her speed up. I'll go around the next one too. Now I'll make her slow down, see? Here we are coming to the second circle, or if you want to call it the middle circle. I'm gonna go you number them depending on the way you're going, whether it's Somerville to Croton or Croton to Somerville. Go here we go. Now we're doing about 65. And here she speeds it up. Back off, crazy, back off. Okay, okay. Got looking good, looking good. Hey, we did that one on two wheels. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, look at that. She's giving me a she's giving me the special treat. Here we go. Yeah, they almost got hit the, hit the bullet. We're there. gonna get so dizzy, this little nova is gonna this lay right on its side. They here we go, here we go. Yeah. All right, speed it up, Gracie. Let's get it on two wheels. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa, big time. Look out for that car. <laughs> and Gracie has a good terminology. She says, the hell with the pedestrians. <laughs> if God didn't intend them to be run over, he wouldn't have put them on the street. <laughs> Okay, let's get this guy. Let's see, where is he from? Maybe he's from California. Pennsylvania. He looks like he's sensible. He's here. Uh-oh. Oh, the time. Yeah, can't get close enough. He's Pennsylvania. But they tell me it's Pennsylvania. It is. In Pennsylvania, just, oh, Gracie, take them off. He's getting off the road. Wait a minute. He's pulling out a gun. <laughs> it might have been California. Here we go. Let's catch this guy. Gracie, he's catching up. She's catching up. She's catching up. He's catching up. Uh-oh, he sees us coming. He's trying to accelerate. There he goes. Ah, oh, if we only had a Ford. Okay, now we're coming in. And like I say, depending on how you want to say it, from Croton, it would be the first circle. Coming in from Somerville, it's the third circle. And here she goes. Okay, now we're going to gain on this guy. Here we go. We're going to get him. He's going to hit him. She's going to hit him. She's going to hit him. Ah! He's going to stop dead on the circle. You gotta go around there. We go. What's he got? On the right, here's the hats. famous the hats. four farms. He's got hats. It's full of hats. Huh? The car in front of you is full of hats. Well, too late now. <laughs> here we go, coming around a circle. All right, let's speed it up. Okay, here she goes. Here she goes. On two wheels again. <laughs> slow it down. Slow it down. Okay, nice and level. All right, cut that sucker off. Now nail him. Here we go. We're coming around again. Speed it up. 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 Look out! Look out! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. God, you're terrible. This part of Flemington here has remained the same 
even when I was a little kid. Whee. All right, we made all three circles. All right, you got your circles. Hey, we did it, we did it. All right, let's catch this guy, Grace. Go, 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 go. Oh, she almost made it. And that completes the tale of the three circles. Oh, oh, oh. In Flemington Hill, and when I was a kid, what the, the quality and what measured up to a good car is if in high gear you could start out the bottom and make it all the way up to the top without dropping below 40 or shifting gears. And you'd be amazed in those days how many cars wouldn't do it. Look at it, look at these go. Uh oh, school bus. They just get it up to 90 and then we have to stop. Yeah. Now, now this poor Nova ain't never going to make it up the hill. Here we go. Here she goes. Fix it in the gear. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. It's all right. Fourth gear. It's all right. Faster. Faster. Okay, let's catch this guy. Here we go. 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 Let's back off, back off. There you go. Here we go. Now, look at that guy. Look at them boogie. He's smoking them tires down. Come on, Grace, you can gain on him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's see if he's from California. Land the fruits and nuts, even the weather's queer. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Gracie. Now nail it. Here she goes. Here she goes. Here she goes. You're going to get him. 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 Yeah! We're going to run over him. Ah! Hey, Chick, what you doing? Look at that. The barbecue. She's out here. She's washing. She painted all the chairs and cleaned them off, lining them up for the, up for, the concert for the big event. And here she had her personal landscaper, which came in all the way from California, cut her grass. All the neighbors stopped by and said, it never looked so beautiful. How did you make it look so gorgeous? Awesome. Work, Gracie, work. Faster, faster, faster. Look at it, look at the hair she is in slow motion, just like this $6 million man. And then, whoop, where'd she go? She quit. Gracie turned into a table. And here she magically reappears. God, there's a couple of them. Look at all the chairs. Look at how we, we could build more and more and more. We expect a lot of people. And then again, too, maybe we expect none. Gracie, do you have a split personality? Answer me. No. Okay. Find you. Oop, I'm not focusing, right? I want to remind you that Gracie has two speeds. Slow and, and stop. Grand tour. We're going to make a trek of the old empire. And as you can see here, I'm looking for old remnants of what's once a junkyard. Got some hubcaps laying around here. I think this one here is off of a Corvair. Let me try to focus in on this. No, that's, I'm sorry, that's a Dodge. Okay, that's a later model, though. Here, this is an old Plymouth hubcap. Uh, maybe 52, 53. Here's some old Chevrolet Corvair hubcaps. I got a pair of them. Do I have an offer? And then over on this side, here's another old Dodge hubcap. I don't think these were the early years. These are probably, oh, it may be 49, probably 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, somewhere in that range. I'll leave a wide open option. Part here are the old remnants of the house I used to live in when I was a little guy. Oh, this was probably back, I was probably, oh, four or five years old then. And as you can see, there ain't much left. Basically just a foundation basement and some of the footing. Everything on top is collapsed. I'll take a peek inside the basement here in just a second. Look at inside. This is inside the basement. Whatever. Where dad got those windows from or whoever built the house where the windows came from I really don't know. Here's some of these old kerosene heater down there if you can make it out. That may be something that Art used a while back or maybe it's been here for years. I don't know way. This is where dad dug a ditch from the basement out so when it filled up with water everything would drain out that way and up on this side extending from there out when I was a kid I always thought it was a trolley car that was attached to a house 
And as I've been told, and I believe it now because I'm thinking back, it wasn't a trolley car, it was a school bus body. And it was put up on blocks, it was raised so that you could walk right out of the house into the bus. This is part of the roof that fell down and collapsed. Oh, this has been down for a long, long time. And uh, Mary was asking me, she says, when the house was built, she said, what color was it? And at first I couldn't remember, but I remember now they had some old, some kind of phony asbestos shingle material that you put on the side, and that, that's what the house looked like. It wasn't painted, it was just covered with something. Yeah, I'm not really sure, and maybe I'm wrong, but this could have been some of the timbers that were used to hold the bus up when it's set beside the side of the house. There's some like this, and there's some others back here that are pretty well rotted out. They've been here for a while, but it's, it's like I say, it's really hard to tell. As you can see, here's some more of the remnants. Here's the right front fender off a of 53 Chevy. We got part of the grill, part of the parking light. It's still got the battery box in it. As a matter of fact, the battery box looks like it's in great shape. And even the fender, it's got a lot of surface rust on it. But yeah, a little minor dent on one side, but it's good. If you remember you need one, we'll send back, we'll have them mail it out. That probably somewhere back between, oh, 1947, 1949, and 1950, I may have come back here to meditate. This might have been one of my favorite places at the time, because this is the old outhouse. And the way we used to travel was there was a path going up to where the old house was, which would be, without these trees, would be up there. And in my grandfather's house, in the house I used to live, the bathroom in there. Now, I don't remember if we ever used it living in that house or not. And then at one time, we supposedly our original house, and I'll explain that later, sat over there by the garage. I'll tell you about that later on as we get into the video. Because there are other things that what I thought I remembered, maybe I wasn't 100% right. And as you look on there, that is part of an old trolley car. Now, my mom says she doesn't remember using trolley car parts on the outhouse, but you can see the metal door, the square windows that are hinged, and these may have been the doors that were used in between compartments, or maybe it was even an entrance door. Piece of memorabilia. That's an old air cleaner. That might have been an air cleaner off an old Chevy or something. Who knows? It might be restorable. You had about $1,000 and about a year or two to redo it. One, another part that I dug out of the, the weeds and whatever, and it's somewhere between a 49 and a 52 Chevy hood. I'm going to try to take the emblem off it. If I could take it off without breaking it, I'll bring it back for a souvenir. But then again, too, I don't think we can fix the hood. I think we'll give up on it. Now, very possibly, that may have been one that was in the house a few years back. It wasn't here when I went into the service, because at that time, when we wanted to take a bath with hot water, we always heated our hot water up on the stove and pots, dump it into the tub. We didn't have a hot water heater then. After I left, that's when they got a hot water heater. And this uh, box or whatever that's here, this may have been dumped here afterwards. I really don't know. I don't, I don't remember it. And this piece of property where I've just taken this previous video, this is the other side of the property, which now belongs to Uncle Bill. But we really didn't work too much on this side because at that time, of course, it wasn't our property. We might have fudged a little bit on the line, but I don't remember getting in this far. See the time difference. So some of this stuff has been sitting here for a while. This is one of them. you got trees growing inside the tire, and there's a few other places where tires with wheels are sitting there, and there's trees growing out of them. And if I find them, I'll take a shot of them. But all through here, all these trees and stuff and debris, you see, 99% of this was clear because all back here was nothing but cars. There were a few of the big trees were here, but we used to work around them. And as we fan back, I believe it was the same back here. It's a little, little thinner back here, but as you get over here, you can see the trees are really starting to fill in. Of course, after, after 20 or 30 years, I guess I can do that. Evidence of an old Dodge pickup red, probably 49 to 51. I don't know if this is originally from the junkyard because I've kind of got my doubts about it. You can see by the rot and whatever, it's been here for a long time, but this could have been uh, dumped off here after the junkyard was cleaned out in 72. Maybe Art had a buddy or something that had to get, had, that had to get rid of it and they brought it back here because if you look around there's no no big parts like this everything else has either been removed or buried another old air cleaner pretty well rotted away over here here's another 
wheel with the old wide white wall on it. It's been here a while. That's that's probably Chevy, Ford, or Mercury, something like that. It's a five lug pattern, but heck, I forget. Same way over here. This is probably a Chevrolet wheel. Now, Mike, you can gauge that. You would know. Well, tires sitting back here. It's a Cornell, Cornell Air Clipper. And if you could make out the size, it says seven, 760 by 15. This is an oldie because you watch as I flip it over and I'm reaching down now, screwing up the film. But there's remnants. It's just one of the old wide white walls. This is probably one of the original tires that was here heck when I was a kid. As you look around, there's lots of old, wide, white wall tires. There's another one, half buried in the dirt. And as I look around, I can see chrome strips and whatnot. Tires are something else. A lot of these, I guess, were buried back here, either intentionally when they cleaned everything out, or as the rains came in, they get covered up with leaves, they sink in the mud or whatever. But when you bury them in the ground, they got a habit, just like rocks, they pop up. Here's some more doodads and whatnots. That looks like an old heater core box. Here's an old Ford hubcap. This was probably off a, it's, it's a later model Ford pickup. God only knows what year. Good old headlight rim. I have picked up a few treasures that I am going to bring back. What little I can find. Remember we're off of something. I've been looking for a oil pan for a four-cylinder F-head Willys engine, but so far I haven't found one. Here's an old Ballantine beer can. Of course, that's probably late model stuff, but back in them days, yeah, occasionally Ballantine beer was drank here. Here's a headlight rim off an old 56 or 57 Chevy pickup. It's probably still worth a buck. Old oil pan. I know lots of people don't like looking at this, but this, this gets me excited. Here's an old radio. I guess I'll have to check and see if there's a good OZ4 tube in it. And if it's restorable, we'll bring it back. Here's another old timer, but if you look in there, somebody stole the OZ4 tube, or the vibrator, one or the other. Well, there's one there, and here's another one here. I just kind of dug them out of the mud. Remnants. Here's an old Dodge tiring wheel. They were very distinctive, you could always tell them, and there's an old oil filter housing. Remember, Mike, when I told you how tough these back windows are? This thing was buried under a bunch of tree limbs and trash and whatever. It's probably been walked down a hundred times. There it is, still intact. This is the magic oil pan that we've been looking for. If it wasn't so rotted out, maybe I'd bring it back, but there ain't much left of it. Look at this fence here. This is the original pen that we made after my grandfather died in 58, we came out here at all, I guess, about 59 or 60. And there used to be a dog house in here. And this is where my dog, Tippy, lived for a while. Out here, of course, the garage was never there. But in this area, there used to be an old shack that used to set there for storage. There used to be a little air compressor inside it. Right out in this area here, my grandfather used to have a... He had the framework off of a dump body, and he used to use it for a car lift. It was very primitive, but it did the job. And same down here, all through here, where these trees are now, they were in trees. We had cars back towards that area in there. We had some van bodies up on blocks, and we used to store parts and whatnot in there. This is the original road that used to go all the way down to the back. We're going back down here again with uh, Alice and Mary. We'll show you what the creek used to look like. But the, ma the majority of the trees and stuff that were in between, they weren't there. This was all pretty well wide open and full of cars. Now, originally, my mom tells me that when we first got out here, our house sat over here, and it didn't have a foundation. And my, bet, my dad built a ha the foundation where the old collapsed house is, and after he built that, and they took the house from there. I'm showing you the wrong way to get there, but they brought it all the way across. I don't remember if this house was there or not. But they brought it all the way across, and they put it over there. And I'm sure he did it by himself and maybe a couple of buddies or whatever. And in them, in them days, it probably was quite a feat. 
I can remember vaguely them moving it. For you? Probably somewhere in there is where they used to have the old billboard up. And years and years ago when my grandfather was here, I guess they came out and they put up the big billboard for their advertising signs. And they used to pay him a couple of bucks a month, you know, for rent to put the sign up. I went all through there before trying to look for some sign as to exactly where it was, but I couldn't find it. I miss well when my little sister Gracie, when she was old, maybe two or three years old, she fell in here. Apparently it didn't have a top on it, it was just an open hole, and her and I were out here, and down she went. Thank God she wasn't hurt and nothing happened. I remember the folks talking about that when they pulled her out, she was all blue or whatever, but she survived, no brain damage, and that's obvious. Supposedly they questioned me because I knew something about it. I could have been, but four years old, five, uh, I forget, four or five or six years old or whatever at the time. It gets kind of muddled when you try to think back then. It's heck to think up the correct times and dates. They dug a, a line or whatever, because this was the water that went all the way over there to the old house where I used to live in. When I came back the first time, I kind of remember, I thought the well was over here more, but I've stomped all over this, and this is the only well that I see. Another shot of the Empire, and here shortly I want to get Alice and Mary and go down back and tour the creek, take a few pictures or whatever. And just to let you know, and a lot of the information and what I'm telling you about what I see is what I think. Not necessarily 100% the truth. A lot of it, yeah, it might be right online, some of it, your thoughts, you know, when you're three, four, five years old, kind of get muddled with other things. And I talked to Gracie and Mom and Ronnie. I can remember some of the things that Dad said. And you try to put all this information together and come up with as close as you think was the way that it went. So I can say some of it, just bear with me. Somebody else is going to say no. Some will change it. And I've talked to Politellos. I've talked to a few of the others. And even going back on the property, from what they told me, where the Johnson place is, originally, that's where my grandfather lived. And then he sold the property to the Johnsons, and I, I remember the Johnsons living there. But whatever happened with the rest of the property, now Mom said at one time that Dad bought all the property. And if we get a chance, I don't think we will now, but we're going to have Gracie go down to the Hall of Records. Let's do a little bit of research on it and see what we come up with. I, I'm really interested myself. The best I can. Here's the sign. All right, here Art has a picture of the old covered bridge that we filmed before. This picture was taken 25 years ago. And as you can see here, it's got the original sign. When we went back, this sign was not here. I'm trying to focus so you can read it. Okay, hopefully, I'm not holding this very still, I know it, but hopefully that's good enough where you can read it. The reason I'm shaking is I need a beer. Girl Scout Troop, or Brownie Troop from 1974. Mary, you can point her out here. Which one do you think she is? There she is. Gracie's got good girls. They were Girl Scouts. Another photograph, 1974. And this is Kim. Point her out, Mary. Which one is she? She's her. There she is. But she wasn't a brownie. She was a junior. She was a junior. Just like what Mary is right now. Good girls. Alice and Mary heading towards the creek. I'm going to join them. I'm going to film some of this. Mary, turn around. Say hi. But I'm going to film some of this, and then Alice is going to film some of it, too, because I've got a little treasure I want to pick up for Mike down there. And Chris, don't be mad. I'm trying to dig up something for you, too. But there's no Camaro parts here. We never had any. Okay, there we go. I'll film this part of the way. It's kind of hard to film while you're walking because, as, as you can see, camera goes berserk. Look at that. There they go. Into the wilds. You know what? They're going. I ain't, I ain't bothering going up. I'll wait about an hour, then I'll go look for them. Bye-bye. Thank God they're gone. Earth disappearing into the trees, and while I'm talking about this, I have probably walked every square inch of the original junkyard property for the property that Grace and Art are on right now, including the property next door. And I've probably done it two or three times. This is a view of the back of the house. This is the first time I filmed this. And Mike, you remember, that's the old cellar. I'll try before I leave to get in there to take a couple shots. It's, it's pretty dark down there. It's hard to see. 
And over here you see the natural gas tanks. That used to be a big tank sitting there with fuel oil for the heater. They've changed the heating system, whatever, in the house, too. Matter of fact, they did a real nice job. That's the addition that's been put on the back of the house. It's been raised up. That used to be just a peaked roof. And from, oh, you can see that line there. From there, about up, that's a new part of the chimney, too. Hey, here's another treasure I found the other day that I dug out. It's an old Ford pickup truck tailgate. And there's the Ford on it. And if you remember, these were only on the old ones, not late models. Here's a few times, and oh, I took an old sickle and whatever and kind of cut out a little path to make it easier for Mary and Alice to walk through. When we got here, and it was right after the rains, and it was really muddy and goopy, so very difficult. But in the last few days, it's kind of dried out. And here I go. I just hope my battery lasts. Hope I don't run into any trees. But this is how I set it up for us to walk through. And as you can see, I have no idea where I'm going. Ah! Here we go. Watch me run into this tree. If I get out of focus, Mike, don't get mad. Doing the best I can. I just about killed myself. Yeah, I, I survived. I God, am I good. You remember before I filmed this? Come on, go ahead, move along there, move along. Who's the boss here? I know I am. Here we go, come on, come on, move along, move along. If Alice was a pioneer in the 1800s and we were leaving Missouri to come to California, we'd probably be arriving tomorrow. Don't get angry, just go. Whoop, whoo. Come on, move along, move along. Hit them up, move them out. Uh, let me shut this off so I can see where I'm going. We're heading back for the creek now. We are at the famous creek. When I was a kid, when we first got up here, you can't swim in here, but we used to come down here and wade in it, whatever. Sometimes we've been, hey, who, what's that? That must be a hello, dear. But this... We used to come down here with a bar of soap. We used to take a bath down here, too. Then later on in the years, the Johnsons, who had the property way up on the other side, and somehow trash wound up in the creek or whatever, and then we got these things we used to call bloodsuckers. Today's terminology would call them leeches. And yesterday, I was making the pathway across the creek so we can get to the other side. And when I picked up a few of the rocks, there were leeches on the bottom. I'll try to find one if I can, and we'll film that sucker. As you can see, here I am on Gilligan's Island, surrounded by water. And here comes Alice and Mary, and watch them, watch them cross. Let's see who falls in. I had to dig all these rocks out and put them across so they can walk in without sinking. Go. Let's go, Mary. You didn't give the signal. Let's, oh, I'm sorry, there you go. Come on, sugar. Here they come. Let's see how Alice does. A couple of times yesterday, she stepped in mud and whatever, and darn near lost her shoes. And then when I yelled at her, you, you're mean to me. You don't love me anymore. Oh, Look up. at that. She does good. She don't realize she's float. But this is what it looks like. I'm standing just about in the middle of it. And in the wintertime when I was a kid, when this froze over, the few times that we did, we used to come down here ice skating. And we used to go down there around the curve. This thing goes on and on and on and on. And matter of fact, Art and I were sitting here talking about it last night. And from the way it goes, eventually, this winds up in the mighty Delaware River. Now here, going up to the other side, this goes up towards the Johnson House. You go around that curve, and then this goes under the Wikichioke Bridge. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. I'll film that. I even forgot the name of that bridge. But right about over in there somewhere, I remember when we were kids, we come down here one day, there was a snake over there, and one of the Johnsons, one of the boys came out with a shotgun and shot it. Pretty good sized snake, too, from what I remember. Yes. But isn't this beautiful, huh? Yes. Another thing we notice when we come down here, if you look along the side, there's a lot of rocks, you know, laying in the water and whatnot, but when you look along the banks, you don't see any. But yet, when you come along this side, and you can see where somebody had been here stacking these suckers up. And what I think they did, I think they came on our side and stole all our rocks. And what I'm going to do before I leave is I'm going to take them and put them back where they belong. Yeah. There she is. Hello, Ellie. All the way across. 
And there goes Mary. Look at another one of the bridges I built for him. They have to have all the luxuries. Now me, I just leap across, you know. Men are special, I guess. Here she goes. Watch this. Watch this. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. Now well, she might she might be a little top heavy. Come on, there you go. Come on, Mary. And something else, you know, thinking about when we were kids, I don't ever remember us really coming over on this side to do anything. I think out of ni niceness, or maybe we just never thought about it. I don't think we ever messed around on this side. Racy knows whose property this is, and I'm, I forget the names. But we went yesterday, we walked up in the back. I'm not going to do it now, but we went all the way down through there. We went a long ways down till we wound up in the back of somebody's house. Here, you'd walk across. But it was neat. Right, she wants me to walk across. So we're going to transfer the power here, and let's hope the video is as awesome as the one that I just made. There he goes, across the mighty Delaware, so he says. Now's my chance to get even. You're going to get your camera wet. Whatever, it's waterproof. No, it's not waterproof. Well, Just for old times, old times sake, so you know it's me. That's for good luck. There we go. I got him wet. Awesome. A beaver could do any better. Take a picture of my muffler over there. I got to explain that too. There's the muffler. All right, shut it off. In the creek, you can see there's a muffler. That might be an old Chevy, Plymouth, or whatever. And in a few places down here, I don't know if I can, I know they're out here, I don't know if I can key on them or not. But in a couple of places, I saw a couple of tires. Somewhere down around the curb, there's a couple of drums or whatever. When we were here, when we ran the junkyard, we never really came quite all the way back to the creek. We tried to keep away from it, and we never really threw anything into it. You know, a lot of people can do that to hide stuff. But even though, you know, we weren't super concerned about the environment at that time or whatever, Everything was, was kept up front, but what happens, you get the heavy rainy seasons, just like they had this year and in previous years. Of course, the water floods the banks. Matter of fact, the water used to get so high, it would reach almost up to the back of the house, which is quite a ways. And of course, you know, just like the ocean, when the tide goes out, it drags things out with it. And that's how that stuff got back here. We weren't pigs and we weren't slobs. I'm filming the creek again. I'm going to zoom down a little bit. Well, we're going to have company pretty soon. we got to be ready. All right. But just trying to get me to go. Bill, me. I'm going to jump in. He says he's going to jump in. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> thought he was going to in a minute, for a minute. <laughs> huh. Mary, are you going to jump in? Mary. Yo, I'm just scared. <laughs> Okay, I guess since we're surrounded by all this water, here now it's time to go back on the other side. There's one side, and there's the other. Well, I'm going to go on this side to go back to the house. Bye. We are still by the creek. Going the wrong way, Butch. Old Chevy hood. This might be off a pickup. I'm not sure. Because I know the hood emblems were different between the pickups and the car. And here's a shot of one of the old trees there. This one here ain't long for this world, but that's nature's cycle. They die, they fall down. You look over at the banks over here, and the way it keeps washing out pretty soon, it's going to be Timber City. I'll try to get a shot of some of them that are, that's already been down. There's a few of them that are laying across water. My God, there's another deer. Okay, you filming? Yep, I'm filming. All right, Mike, this one's for you. This looks to me like an old Dodge pickup hood, I think, or maybe it's just an old Dodge, but we still got the emblem on it. I dug this out of the weeds with my tore up hands, and I'm taking this off, and I'm bringing it back as a souvenir. Notice these quality snap-on tools I'm using. Hold on, let me see them. This is, this is definitely snap-on. Matter of fact, 
It says on here, electrolyte. I thought that was battery fluid. Let me bring this up here, brush it off a little bit. It's in pretty good shape and may need to be re -chromed. But as you can see, it's an old Dodge Ram. Hold still. Turn to the side. And there she is. Hold still. It's not, it's, I don't know, it's supposed to fit in a little bit. This should be pretty good. Your mother's scooping. filming. This could turn into a two-day es escapade here. There she is. Hopefully I can get it back without breaking it. Okay. <laughs> Something else back here that I wanted to show in. Oh, here it is. Come on. Bring the camera over here. Okay. These in the old days were known as portal walls. This one here is busted up. When I picked it up, it fell apart. But what this was known as was a poor man's white wall. When I was a kid, we didn't have many white wall tires. You used to buy these, I don't know, they were a buck a piece. And what you did is when you, you broke the bead on the tire and you slipped this in between the tire and the rim, of course, it went all the way around. And when you blew up the tire, it sealed, held it on. Instant white walls. When I was a kid, I used, I wonder if this is the same one. I doubt it. But that's phenomenal. Prove that there's life in the old Wikishioki Creek. Here's a couple of ducks. I think I'll send out Alice out there and use her as a decoy. I wonder if these are the guys that invented the duck dresses. Look at that, isn't that sweet? Mm -hmm. And also in there we do have pollywogs. I've seen several frogs. And yesterday on some of the little islands in between the creek, I saw deer tracks. Look at that, isn't that sweet? I guess it's not polluted that bad. Okay, well, Butch and Mary, I think they're gonna push this. All right, we need a pass to this. go across the creek, so me and Mary, with superhuman strength, this takes every ounce of strength that we have. You ready? Heave. Oh, heave. Here we go. Timber. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like it got stuck there, Touch. Will they be able to make it? Guess what? It ain't going. It's next no. though. Help that disagree. Looks like. <laughs> They're super. Stop telling me I shouldn't be doing this. Looks like they should not have done it after all. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. It's not quite ready to cross the creek. Got it's it. not Washington, it says. I'm not crossing the Delaware. That's it. I'm not doing it. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if it was nice, it would have fell down like this one. <laughs> That's okay. Mary, turn around. Mary, turn around. Hi. Woo! See if I can focus in on those ducks again, wherever they are. I don't see them. Maybe they're gone. that are marking the property line, I guess, dividing Gracie's property. And the Palatellos. Gracie and Art's property from the uh, Palatellos. And now if I remember, it was shaking so violently. These are rocks that have been stacked up to indicate the property line between the junkyard property and the Palatello property. And when we first came out here, I can remember them coming back here and doing this. Nothing wrong with it. Everybody does it around here. Okay, here's the other part of that old Dodge hood. And you know, by the latch, you know it was a pickup. Else I've enjoyed since I've been out here, that's, I can appreciate. They like Coors Light, nice people, and listen to country music. What more could you ask for? Here's about, oh, somewhere between a 48 and probably 51 Packard hubcap kind of crunched up. If it was in better shape, I'd bring it back. Let me get the scrap out of the way. Well, there she go. Little zero again. That's probably from my time. An old sump pump. This might have been one that originally was in the basement. I don't know.
house looks like from the side. And if I remember right, we had steps going up this side and the doorway would have been right about there to go in from this side. But as you can see, it all kind of shifted this way and boom, it poured down. Shot from the outside, looking down inside the basement. And there's the window that I don't recognize where it came from. You can see it's got the wire glass in it. Probably out in California right now for our windows. Maybe that's what we need to keep Harry inside. Okay. And looking down here, trying to do what I can. I know this might this might have been a water line or something coming in. Maybe this is the line that went to the well. I don't know. I know it's not a sewer line or something. And on the side of the house, it came out there. So maybe this water line came out, went down into the ground or whatever, and way back over there somewhere to the well. Who knows? This fence material, if you can make it out, this is the material that was used on the old house's siding. It's kind of a an asbestos type uh, setup or whatever. I don't, I don't know what it's made out of, but when Mary asked me what color the house was, the house wasn't a color. It was colored with this siding and had a green roof. And this fence that you see over here, for a while we had a dog named Kiki who we wanted to keep her penned up. So Dad put this chain link fence up and it went up full from around the old house and spread out quite a ways but we couldn't keep her in it because she'd climb right up one side down the other and get out They're a real sweet dog though matter of fact we got her in Cliffwood Beach and brought her to Flemington with us another last shot of the old mansion Where's the well? see there's the mom smile smile pretty don't give you the fact she's down she's halfway there and there's Tracy <laughs> And here, here, we're going to have a barbecue. Matter of fact, we might even have some leftover London broil. And we've got a live weenie to put on the barbecue. <laughs> we're getting ready to have a barbecue tonight, and Art is trying to get it all set up here and ready to go. Along up towards the old Wikichioki Creek, if I said it right, I probably never do. And we'll scan the old empire again. There's old Art down here working. And here's, whoop, you two look close, Alice. My goodness, scared me. And here we go as we trek along. I'll probably be filming this and walk to my left and I'll just be a flat spot on the highway. Let's, let's run real fast. Here we go. I'm running. <laughs> this is supposedly just a piece of property originally where my grandfather lived. And when talk, trying to talk to some people here, not, not my mom or anything, but some of the neighbors and stuff. And I guess he had a few cars here or whatever. And then, of course, whatever he had moved next door to where the junkyard wound up. But of particular interest in this house, inside, back towards the center, originally there was a trolley car and they built the rest of the house around it. As far as I know, the trolley car is still in there. Written on the side of the bridge, it said State New Jersey. And apparently the guy that wrote it probably forgot the right of. Here's a view from the center of a Wiki Chioki bridge. I still got problems saying that. I can remember here being as a kid, I probably saw the sign and knew what it was, and I don't think I've ever pronounced it right. But anyhow, we didn't really hang out on this much when we were kids. I know we walked across it every day, because us in uh, previous videos, we walked up that way, up to the intersection where the Pius house was, and that's where we caught the school bus. Look at that, big time, baby. Here's kind of a shot, oh, you feel that rumble. It's at least a 4.2. There's Ellie on the other side. But they've got the guardrail now up along the side. You can't really read all the signs that are on the bridge. I don't know if this one will focus in or not. Oh, there we go. Kind of. But on the bottom, the date on it is 1939. From the Bargano plantation side. And as I scan, whatever. 
course, which is heading back towards the old house.